Now you're going to do something more complicated. This is a bit ambitious, but I think it will be fun. You're going to do a role play and the situation is a police interview. One person will be the police officer and the other will be the suspect. And then you're going to have to swap roles. Okay, here's, <clears throat> here's the situation. Tonight, the big jewellery shop in the city was robbed. The thief was caught on camera, but the camera did not catch their face. But they were wearing the same clothes as the suspect. What's more, the thief cut their hand when they were robbing the store. They got away with a bag of jewels. That's what the police know. If you are the police officer, that's your information. Okay, now this is the suspect story. I'm not saying that this is true, that's up to you. But this is what the suspect will have to tell the police officer. So if you're the suspect, this is your story. You've had a really bad day. You had to finish off some work at the office, so you stayed late. By the time you finished, you were the only one there. When you left the office, you went to the car park and saw that your car had a flat tyre. So you started to change the wheel, but the jack broke and cut your hand. So, so you packed it up and decided to get a taxi home. You, you hailed a cab and set off home. But after a few minutes, the cab driver got a call from his pregnant wife to say she'd gone into labour. The cab driver apologised and dropped you off at the nearest bus stop. You got out of the taxi and started waiting for a bus. While you were waiting for a bus, a car sped past you. As the car passed you, a bag flew out and landed at the bus stop where you were sitting. The car didn't stop, it just kept going. So you picked up the bag and looked inside and saw it was full of jewellery. At that moment, just as you were looking through the bag, the police drove up and arrested you. This information will be on your slides for the role play. The police officer will have to interrogate the suspect. When the suspect answers your questions, try to use strong auxiliaries to sound interested and suspicious. Each time you ask a question, you, after you've heard the suspect's answer, I want you to accuse them. You're lying! You're making this up! You stole the jewels! If you're the suspect, deny those accusations. I am not. I did not. You'll be divided into A's and B's. On the slideshow, if you're A, you'll be the police officer first, and on your first slide, you'll see a list of questions. If you are B, you'll see the details of your story in bullet points. If you're in a three, two of you will be police officers. Try to take turns asking questions. Okay, this is an assessed speaking, and I'm going to give you eight minutes. That's four minutes per role play. I will include a reminder in the police officer's slide to swap roles after four minutes. Right then, you are now being put into pairs and off you go.